Warning, the following content may contain elements that are not suitable for some audiences. Viewer discretion is advised. Hello everybody and welcome back to another episode of GeoGuessr. We are doing a balanced world today, it's a map by mapper and I thought the blur was going to help us. I was convinced because of this blur it was going to be Germany, but it's probably not. Uh, we do have A66 and E70, these are most likely European. Uh, I don't see the yellow on the side so it's not Portugal. Although it does kind of feel Spanish, there is the .es. My main concern now is are we on an island? We are by Charles Darwin Street. I don't think it's the Galapagos. Are there any other islands he's like known for? That could be a problem. Uh, it does feel like it is kind of a major city. So hopefully uh, we are able to find something that says like Madrid, Barcelona. Uh, I don't know any other cities. Let's quick look. Se uh, Seville, Malaga, Marica, yeah, Valencia. Hopefully we can find a sign that has one of those on it. We do have a statue of a boy or a girl, both, uh, with their cow. It's touching statue, I suppose. What do we have? We have Pena Rosis, which might be street, not actually anything important. Uh, it looks more like a political truck, but I don't think it is, because these guys look like movers. Does that not feel political? I think it's the stars, you know? Whenever you see stars like this, it's, it's usually political in the United States. I think. I don't, we don't really have a lot of logos that have a lot of stars in them, now that I'm trying to think about them. And maybe maybe I'm just being put on the spot, you know? Maybe I'm trying to think about whatever, whatever star logo I could think of, and it's just coming up empty. Uh, we do have numbers, E70. Uh... Does Madrid have an E70? Does not has E5. E70 is up top. Maybe we're over by Bilbao. Uh, which might make sense because there is two different languages. So it would make sense to be over here in this general region. Because they use a different language. I forget what it's fucking called. It's tough being me, alright? Uh, language has never been our strong suit. I know it's a different language. I forget what... There's two two different regions up here. Catalonian? It's Catalonian and... Uh, what the fuck is the other one? I don't think it fucking matters. But we did find what appeared to be two different languages, which is why I guess it makes sense to be over by Bilbao. Ah, uh, and it, it's kind of near. We just end up being in Oviedo. Oviedo? Which, would they have two different languages here? I feel like it's a lot closer to the French border and Andorra than uh, northwestern Spain. But 700 points behind Taurus ain't bad. Uh, we do have the roof rack with the tape, so we are in Ghana. Kumasi, perhaps? I know, uh, I know most of Ghana is coverage. They do speak English. So we should be able to find signs that would have the information we need on them. Happy babies. Love, Saralac. How do you know? Did you ask them? Guys, maybe, maybe I'm looking too far into this one. I'm pretty sure babies don't talk. Right? And I'm pretty sure they'll eat whatever you fucking give them. I don't know. I don't have children. So, maybe maybe that's me being in the wrong here. But, here, another one. Alright, happy on the outside, protected from the inside. It looks like it's formula. That child does not look like they could talk, either. So, maybe, maybe you don't advertise that babies love it. Because then, you also gotta think, you're playing down the intelligence of the mother. Right, because the mother, the mother's supposed to know what, what's best, and you you have to rely on an advertisement to tell me that my kid's gonna like that food, bull fucking shit. I'm the fucking mother. I'm not. I'm the fucking mother. I know what's right for my child. 
You know, I feel like I feel like capitalism destroys countries. I'm not saying we need to go anywhere else, but capitalism is is not doing so great, especially out in Ghana. Uh, but we haven't found a town name. Hopefully, us leaving is going to help us. We have the Kanogo. Uh, remember, Jesus is coming soon. Repent and be saved. Do we have an exact date on that yet, by the way? Curious. Uh, but here's the second Kanogo. So we're probably in a town called Kanogo, which is right here. Uh, which is actually pretty fucking cool. Uh, if we return to start now that we think we know where we are, we don't. What is around us? A Shell gas station. Bus station. Let's just zoom in pretty far. Shell gas station on the north half of the road. Please? A hospital, police, another gas company, post office. Like, it's pretty north. What if we're over here more? Tell energy. A little bit more? Maybe? Dude, there's like nothing here. There's a hospital. What if we're not on a main road? What if we're down on Cemetery Road or something? I feel like we have to be on a main road. Let's go to Nisoya. Fuck it. Ah, uh, and it does end up... I'm glad it didn't move it to Nisoya. Which I think was down here. Uh, it ends up being a little bit to our right. With Shell literally just not listed. This is where the Shell gas station was. Just not listed. It happens. It does. Uh, we almost get a perfect score. But Taurus is still going to have a 700 point lead on us. Interesting. It's not the worst. Yellow dashed. Ooh, this is one of the first times we've seen yellow dashed. Typically, they end up being white. I wonder if it's because it's a corner. No, because then it still continues on a straight line. But it does go into another corner. Within a full yellow. We are parked on the left hand side. I'm thinking New Zealand, Australia, to be honest. Molly's Cottage Parking. Molly, you need to close your garage doors because that's not in the best shape. Uh, for sale, New Zealand. It says it right there. So that definitely does help us. I believe we did see water to our east. Although we might need to go back up the hill to confirm that real quick. Uh, that is definitely water to our south and our east. So we could be on the northern island. Uh, we could be the southern part of the southern island. Although I feel like this is more northern. It just the way it feels. Do we have a town name on here? Sotheby's is the name of the real estate. Kiki Abel is the name of the agent. But it doesn't look like something of the bay. Hold on. Can we get a better view of it? Not really. So it's only this other sign behind it. Something of the Bay. N-A something. Your B reality. N-A Sothby. Or N-Z. It's probably N-Z. So actually it doesn't help us. Uh, a lot of times, especially in, I'm going to say my town, uh, you do see the name of the town on the real estate sign. Like the, the name of the office. So, like, if the office is, like, Town B, it would be, like, Town B Real Estate. Or something along those lines. Madeira Investments, not important. Napier. Napier? I don't know where Napier is. Uh, but we should be near a coast. If we could find N-A-P-I-E-R. It does sound familiar. But just because it sounds familiar doesn't know where we are. It doesn't mean we know where we are. Uh... And with the water to our west, was it? No, our east. Our east and our south. Oh, man. I feel like it's got to be the North Island. Come on. Here it is. Uh, and you can find that right there. So we are in this general area. If we return to start, we don't have much time. We have 20 seconds, actually. That's probably not enough time. Uh, street sign is Lincoln and Harvey. Lincoln and Harvey, Lincoln and Harvey. Not up top. If it is, I didn't see it. We're probably over here, actually. Lincoln and Harvey. We're out of time. 
Uh, and actually, not a bad guess. Here's Harvey, here's Lincoln. Uh, this is the intersection we found. Uh, Taurus almost gets a perfect score. We were two points off. We're finding it. We're finding these locations. I knew it had to be the North Island. That's that's good. Uh, we found Napier. And here's Countdown and Burger King and McDonald's, which don't matter. Still 700 points behind. We do have a black car. It feels like we are on the right-hand side. No rifts. Nothing on the car itself. This might be Argentina. Or, no, this is probably Uruguay, actually. Even though it says Brazil Avenue. It just, it does not feel like Brazil. We do have Pere, so it's not north. That says Brazil again. Is this really Brazil? Is it really? I know. How, I love how we have lingerie up top, by the way. I don't want to guess Brazil until I'm confident. And let me tell you why I'm not confident. Oh, look, it's .br. We're in Brazil, guys. Let's use, hopefully, phone numbers. Can we find a phone number? We did the tutorial. We should be able to use it. My concern is... What if this isn't actually Brazil? I, I did have a spoiler, if that helps. Um, and that was in stream, where they told me about the Uruguay, Uruguay Brazil. So we might actually be in Uruguay for this. Uh, which wouldn't make sense with a black car. That says Lisboa. Ugh. Where the fuck is Lisboa? I know it's over here. But like, where is this Lisboa? Watch it be Riviera. Watch it be right on the fucking border. I don't know, man. I don't know. Because we had a bus that had Brazil in it. Which I guess makes a little bit of sense. So I would typically guess Brazil. I have yet to find a phone number, which doesn't help us. And we have the black car, which is not Brazilian. They don't use a black car in Brazil. Guys, I'm learning cars. How does it feel? Now there's some real competition. Uh, but yeah, no phone numbers. No phone numbers anywhere. Which sucks, to be honest. Because I learned all these phone numbers, and now we can't even use them. Pirelli, these are tires. Uh, really expensive racing tires. Volkswagen. I know it's not a Dacia. Gosh. Sayada. That's exit. In, like, kind of Spanish. No, this is Portuguese. Ah, uh, Baje. Santa Maria. Santa Maria. Fuck it. I guess it is. Unless it's literally a border town. Again. Alright, return to start. How are we not finding phone numbers? I think we went the other way. Brazil 513 Chu, but we're on Brazil Avenue. So of course it's gonna say Brazil everywhere. No, we have gone the wrong way. Dolphin free shop? What's a dolphin free shop? There's a lot of shops here. But yeah, not a single phone number. I am honestly impressed. And maybe maybe it existed. There's a 53. We don't have... Eh, 50s are down here. Ah, uh, and it ends up being literally on the border over here. In between Brazil and Uruguay. So it kind of makes sense. Ah, uh, but I didn't even consider down here... We got the right region for the fives. For 53. But, uh, Taurus does get a perfect score here. We kind of, we kind of knew it was going to be near here. Because of the spoilers. In stream. God, man, no wonder. This is at Brazil Avenue, right on the border. Right on the border. Interesting. I didn't even know a town existed down here, to be honest. Although I'm not surprised. Uh, Yellow Divider Line. Gen 2 coverage. Right hand side of the road. We're fucked. I, th I know it's not Korea, so it's Japan or Taiwan, but the fact that we're on the right hand side puts us in Taiwan. Right? Unless we end up in one of those stupid fucking regions in, like, China somewhere. Which I really don't like assuming that China has coverage, so we pretend it doesn't. 95% of the time, we are completely correct. Uh, we do have the, the horizontal, uh, well, not the horizontal, the diagonal, which does end up uh, helping us out. Now, I don't know the Taiwan phone system. Uh, the Japan phone system should be going up on the second channel not my channel the geogas pro channel tomorrow uh and it's basically the same thing we did with the 
the Brazil one, except we're doing Japan. Now, we do have Guitar Pick 20 and Guitar Pick 29. We do have town names with distances. Uh, here's 21, so 20 theoretically should be nearby. Here's 19, same concept. 29 and 20, okay. We found it. Here's the intersection. 29 and 20. Uh, Nan Hua, which is right here, is 5. And Shan Lin, which is right here, is 6. I literally feel like we are right here. If we... I don't know, return to start? We're coming up to a bridge on a river. So... It, it could be this one. We are heading west. But how does the bridge translate? Because this looks like they're building the bridge here. I feel like it could be this bridge. And we are heading west, so we would be... But it doesn't feel like we're on that side of the river. It really doesn't. We're heading west into the city. Oh, it's, we're right here. We're right here. If we return to start, we're right on the curve. Right fucking here. I have it. I got it. Perfect fucking score. Eight meters off eight yards. Wow. That was really good. That was really fucking good. Now, granted, Taurus, Taurus did have better guesses. We do end up losing by about 700 points. Uh, but 700 points. We we were in it. We were in it. Uh, maybe a little bit more than 700 because of Uruguay. So it's probably going to be like 1,500 or something. Uh, and Taurus does ooh, a lot more than 1,500. 2,000. 2,000 points. Uh, but that does come down to Uruguay. And it does come down to Spain. Uh, with Martin, only 100 points behind us. So, very good game. Very good game. Hmm, 59 in 4th at 22. Bentley Aaron in 5th at 21-3. Carls in 6th at 21. Citric Tiger in 7th at 25. 20,500. Uh, Scribbles in 8th at 18-6. Bo in 9th at 18. And then Tin in 10th at 15. Going with Japan instead of Taiwan there. Uh, so, Tin, I hope you do see that um, Japan is on the left, not the right. Uh, that's how we were able to determine it was, in fact, Taiwan there. Uh, and then you might want to check out the phone tutorial to see that the fives are down here in Brazil. Uh, because phone numbers definitely do help, and we did find it at the last second. But overall, Tin, I think you're doing pretty good. I think everyone's doing pretty good, actually. And Taurus crushed us today, so it happens. But that is going to be where we call it. There will be a second video uploaded today. You can look for it around 5 p.m. Eastern. That is for the May Pro League. Uh, it's going to be once a day in May, every day for the entire month. As well as uh, another Pro League tomorrow, which will be the Diverse World 2020. Uh, and potentially a rural world on Sunday. It all depends, but that is the general plan going forward. Uh, but if you do look in the description below, you will find links for tomorrow, Saturday. Uh, and I do look forward to seeing you guys all then. But until then, I do want you guys to continue to wash your hands. I know a lot of countries are opening up, but that doesn't mean you should just pretend that you can't uh, get sick because it's always possible. Uh, so continue to wash your hands, read a book, exercise watch more geoguessr check out the geoguessr pro channel you can find the discord in the description below and have a good day guys